G'day, g'day. So in this question here, we're going to be looking at conditional probability. So first, just got to go over our conditional probability equation here. So that's just right here. We've got the probability of A and then this dash then B. So this actually reads as the probability of A occurring given that event B occurs. Okay? And that's equal to the probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B or whatever the second value is in this. Okay, so that's how you identify what's on the bottom. It's whatever the second value in your conditional probability equation there is. Okay, so we'll just go through this question here now. So we've got two events, A and B. Probability of A is equal to 0 0.6. Probability of B is 0 0.3. And our probability of B occurring, given that A occurs, is 0 0.1. So, we need to find the probability of A intersection B, and then it's asking us to find the probability of A occurring, given that event B occurs. So, we'll start off with question A. One thing to recognise here is that the probability of A intersection B this is the same as the probability of B intersection A. Okay? So they are exactly the same thing. So just make sure that you are aware of that. So we can actually work out using this equation here. Well, this conditional formatting here, or conditional probability, uh, and then our probability of A. So, our equation will read the probability of B occurring, given that A occurs, is equal to the probability of A intersection B over probability of A. Just make sure that you put the probability of A on the bottom. It's always whatever is second on your conditional probability there. Okay, so now it's just fill in the blanks and solve. So this one here was 0 0.1 from our question. Then we've got our probability of A intersection B all over probability of A, which is 0 0.6. So this here, the probability of A intersection B, this is 0 0.1 times 0 0.6 which is equal to 0 0.06, okay? So 0 0.06 is our answer there. So just with that, make sure that you are getting the right value on the bottom. That's essentially the biggest trick to it, okay? And it's the easiest mistake to make with conditional probability. So we're going to move on to part B here. So part B, this is working out just like how our equation's written out. So the probability of A occurring, given that event B has occurred, is equal to probability of A intersection B over the probability, and this one will be of B. Okay? So now this here is equal to, and we use our value from our last answer, which is 0 0.06. And we're dividing by the probability of B, which is 0 0.3. And this here will give you the answer of 0 0.2 as the probability. So, yet again, this is how you do go about answering these. And the biggest trick is just not getting the wrong number on the bottom, okay? Not putting the wrong probability on the bottom. And just making sure that you do have these around the right way, okay? So hopefully this helps and good luck with it all.